to another edition of the Here We Are podcast. From time to time, I think I'm going to drop in a song like this, maybe an old hymn or a gospel song that I grew up on, that I've enjoyed, kind of run it by you again, stimulate your memory and some perhaps past uh, nostalgic attachments to these songs. That song, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, is, uh, it's been around a long time. A lot of us are familiar with the presentation of it on the streets of New Orleans when the funeral procession walks down the street as someone has passed and those great Dixieland jazz type of uh, instrumentalists in a rather somber dirge-like fashion are slowly playing and walking. And then all of a sudden they shift gears and they go into full-on New Orleans Dixieland jazz mode. And I just love that. Some people think, oh, that's kind of sacrilegious or disrespectful. You know, it really is, at least for the Christian, really is in a musical sense kind of, uh, kind of descriptive of our journey, that this walk through life is difficult and uh, passing is difficult on the family and those who uh, say goodbye to a loved one. I certainly know that. But there's great and ultimate joy in the passing of a saint and, and to celebrate that, to to get loud, to get rhythmic, I mean, is in perfect keeping with what our per perspective should be as Christians as we walk with the Lord in this life and then we'll walk with him through eternity. It really is a great song. Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking. That's Bible. That's scripture. Daily. Take up your cross and follow him. Deny yourself. Let it be. Let it be. Just a closer walk. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus Keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long. You know, that keep me from all wrong, that's, that's Bible. That's the Lord's Prayer. Lead me not in temptation, but deliver me from evil. Keep me from all wrong. Just a closer walk with thee. That should be our daily prayer. When our feet hit the ground in the morning, that should be our desire, to walk with the Lord, to walk in a way that's honoring to him that lifts up the name of Jesus, to trust in him for every step. The steps of a righteous person are ordered of the Lord, the Bible says. So we need not fear, we need not fret, we need not be anxious about our journey in the long run or the daily course of it, because all of our steps have been ordered. The, the key is be discerning, be sensitive to take the steps that he has ordered, to discern the path that he has designed to take his hand, as it were, and walk with the Lord. Don't get ahead of him. Don't drag behind. Don't get distracted by what's to the left and the right. But walk with the Lord. Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus, this is my plea. Daily, every day, walking close to thee. Stay close to the Lord. Walk with the Lord. And, and it's not just about walking in the sense of, okay, I get up and I move, and there's sort of a casual recognition of the Lord in his presence. I think walking close to the Lord entails also a daily discipline of time spent with him. Every day I spend time. Now, let me walk that back just a moment. Sometimes I get up really early in the morning to go fishing or hunting, and it occupies my whole day, and I maybe don't get to my Bible reading and prayer as I normally would if I were in my studio or in the house, I always pray if I'm out in the woods or on the water, there's always prayer time, but sometimes I don't get to the books. There's no condemnation in that because there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. You can get real legalistic about that stuff and that's always a danger. 
But I will tell you that every day that I'm able, there's a discipline in my life to spend time with the Lord, to spend time in his word, to spend time reading other books that enrich my life and build me up theologically, to spend time on my knees in prayer talking to him. I've often said, we talk to him through prayer, he talks to us through his word. That is the walking out of our relationship with the Lord. That's the practical living out, walking out, the reality of, of Christ alive within us by the presence and power of his Holy Spirit. So just a closer walk with thee, granted Jesus, is my plea. It's a wonderful song. Thought I'd bring it to your memory. Hey, uh, memory. Uh, when you go from here, I, uh, <laughs> I promise you, you'll be singing this. You'll be whistling this the rest of the day. And uh, I do that. If I, if I get a riff or, a, or a, in my head, sometimes I wake up in the morning and through the night, or maybe before I went to bed, there was a commercial on. It might just been a short musical riff of some kind. If that lodges in my brain, that's going to stay there all day long. I'll go over it and over it and over it again. It might be something wrong with the way my brain functions, but boy, I get a musical little riff or portion in there and it just goes over and over. Sometimes I get a whole song and it might stay with me for days. So hopefully this one will stay with you for a while. And if it stays, stays with you for longer, that's okay because it's, it's great lyrics. Just a closer walk with thee. Granite Jesus is my plea. <laughs>